Adaptation and Classification of Animals Part 1 Hey Jojo! Hey Jia! Jia, today I have learnt about animals. Oh, that's good! But I am unable to understand one thing Jia. What to do? About adaptation. Okay, no problem, Dodo. I will tell you. Let's go. Adaptation. When there are changes in the surroundings, such as change in climate, plants and animals also have to change to survive. This process of changing to suit the environment is called adaptation. Adaptations to environment. On the basis of their habitat, animals can be divided into five major groups. Terrestrial animals, aquatic animals, amphibians, arboreal animals and aerial animals. Terrestrial animals. Animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Terrestrial animals breathe with the help of lungs. They have well-developed senses such as the sense of hearing or smell. This helps them to hunt for food and protect themselves from their enemies. They have legs to help them move. Some animals such as snakes crawl along the ground. Tiger, elephant and bear are wild animals. Horse, cow and dogs are domestic animals. Desert. Animals living here need to conserve water in their body survive on less food and water and protect themselves from heat and cold. For example, a camel lives in a desert. It can survive without food and water for many days. It has a thick skin and scanty hair to protect itself from the extreme heat and cold. Polar regions. Polar bear has a dense layer of fur that protects it from cold. This fur keeps its body warm. Under the skin, it has thick layer of fat called blubber. It also serves as a source of energy during winter. Aquatic animals need special structure to move easily in water, breathe in water and prevent water from being absorbed into their body, paddle like limbs and webbed feet that helps them to swim in water. They need lungs for breathing. For example, crab, turtle, fish, duck, dolphins and whales. Amphibians. Animals that can live both on land and in water are called amphibians. When on land, amphibians breathe with their lungs. In water, they breathe through their skin. These animals have folds of skin between the fingers of their feet. These folds are called webs. Their webbed feet help them to swim. For example, frog, toads and salamanders. Arboreal animals. They have strong arms, legs and claws to climb and hold trees. For example, spider monkeys, orangutas, and tree lizards. Aerial animals. They have wings, body feathers, and light and hollow bones. For example, birds and bats. Herbivores. They have sharp front teeth and flat grinding teeth at the back of their mouth which helps them to cut and chew their food. For example, cows, horses and rabbits. Carnivores. They have sharp teeth and claws to catch, hold and tearing the flesh of their prey. For example, tiger, lion, eagles and vulture. Omnivores. Omnivores are animals that eat both plants and other animals. For example, dogs, bears and crows. Scavengers. Scavengers have very strong jaws to crush bones. For example, vultures, hawks and hyenas. 
Adaptations for protection. Some animals stay in groups to protect themselves. For example, fish, birds, buffaloes and elephants. Some animals run very fast to escape from their enemies. For example, deer and kangaroos. Some animals have horns for their defense. For example, rhinoceroses and buffaloes. Some animals have hard shell on their bodies. For example, snails and tortoise. Some animals have body coverings that make them look like similar to merge with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. For example, polar bear and chameleon. Adaptations in behavior. Migration. The movement of animals from one place to another for feeding or breeding or to escape harsh weather conditions is called migration. Hibernation. Hibernation is resting state of some animals to avoid extreme cold. Estivation. Estivation is a resting state of some animals to avoid extreme heat. Let's recall. Animals develop special features to adapt themselves to their surroundings. The surroundings or environment in which an animal lives is called its habitat. Animals on the basis of their habitat are classified as terrestrial, aquatic, amphibians, arboreal and aerial. Animals on the basis of the kind of food they eat are classified as herbivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous. Animals use different methods to protect themselves from enemies. Stay in groups, run very fast, have horns, hard shell, sharp spines, change body color, etc. Animals also develop special habits such as migration, hibernation and estivation to suit their surroundings.